You may remember that I have a thing about things, especially since I retired from the office. Stores, warehouses packed with treasures, antique malls, the list goes on. I've started spending as much as I dared to fill up where I was living. And then it got way out of hand when my Aunt Lucille passed away. She left me quite a bundle of money so I could move to a much bigger and grander place and keep on filling it up with bigger and grander stuff. And traveling was a temptation I couldn't resist. It got to a point where I knew it was like some kind of sickness and I had to get help with it. I got some CDs to help me with decluttering the mind, leading a simpler life, which for me would be doing without so much stuff. But there comes a time in life you start to realize all these possessions haven't made you any happier. And the subject of Japan kept coming up. Clean lines, functional design. I saw a video that really impressed me. And I remembered a commercial I saw on TV back when I was a kid. Japan Airlines has captured the spirit of the Japanese garden aboard its new... So I had the money. Why not close up the house and pay a visit to Japan? And so I found myself in the midst of the simplicity of Tokyo. It had been chaotic getting here, but I knew this too would pass. Once I got my bearings, I reveled in the basicness of my hotel room, nothing more than what was absolutely necessary. After getting past the jet lag, I took walks in temple gardens and the like. The confusion of the Tokyo streets almost gave me panic attacks, but I rode the feelings out, thinking about how it was yang to the temple's yin. But then one day I got all turned around trying to find the hotel and I found myself in front of a very strange place. Don Quixote? Really? Where was the knight on horseback with the flat hat who tilted at windmills? The deeper I got into the store, the weirder I felt. This could be heaven, this could be hell. For someone like me, it was like an alcoholic wandering the aisles of a beverages and more superstore. I was coming unmoored, almost literally. And then I blacked out. When I woke up, I had a dim recollection of being driven somewhere, and then I was at the airport. My luggage was all packed up and rolling behind me. How had that happened? And what was wrong with everything? Nothing looked like the way it should. So I blacked out again.